So this is a bit of a follow-up to my guide on how to install the NVIDIA GeForce drivers. So what I've decided to do in addition to that is a little guide on how to configure your system for 3D Vision Surround. So first of all, you will need three monitors, all 120Hz. You will need two GeForce GTX no, not necessarily GTX. You'll need two supported GeForce graphics cards. In this case, I've got a couple of GTX 480s. You will also need NVIDIA Active Shutter Glasses as well as an IR emitter. So you'll need to have the latest beta drivers installed. And by the time uh, you watch this, I guess there might be an official driver for this, a Wickle one. So you go to the NVIDIA control panel. You wait for it to load. Once it's done loading, you go ahead and go into the Configure SLI Physics and Surround. So I'm going to go ahead and span displays with surround. So I'm going to apply that first and then I'll configure it after. So the surround option is the new one in this particular menu. We've always had SLI, we've always had activate all displays and disable SLI. So it says connect displays to graphics cards as shown. I have already done this. So I'm going to go ahead and click apply again. This might take a moment. Yes, I am sure. And then we hope that it all works. All displays are blank. No signal. Wait for it. Hey, there we go. Okay. So now the NVIDIA control panel is up on the middle screen. Uh, my start menu is also on the middle screen, but my start menu spans to the right hand screen as well as the left hand screen. So you can see that we do have to rearrange the displays. So the easiest way to do that is with the little uh, wizard that's up here right now. So you just click identify. So we've got 312. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that three is over here. I'm just gonna drag it over. 312, so that should match the identify function. And then once I've done that, I just click apply. It'll rearrange my monitors. And it's that simple. Okay, so there's one more thing that we need to configure for the surround option. So we can either configure it to adjust for the display bezels. What that means is it's adding a little bit of resolution here. I'm gonna sort of try to explain this. It's adding some resolution behind the bezels. So that means that if you have, say for example, like Nvidia's uh, got displayed here, a road, you can either make it so that the bezels will hide some of the picture or you can make it so that the bezel will simply just be in between and the picture will will have that gap in between it so oh uh oh okay looks like i've configured it one way or the other i missed which one i configured personally i prefer this way um, I don't mind having that gap, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, no, I see what I've done. Okay, no, I did click the wrong one. Okay, so, yeah, you can either configure it to have them line up or configure it to have them not line up. You know what? Why don't we go through really quickly here, and I just want to show you... Okay, configure... I just want to show you how to do the bezel correction, even though I don't prefer it that way. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yes, we want to adjust there. Okay, so NVIDIA gives us this little road thing, and I'm going to go ahead and change the width right here. I'm going to change the width of my extra resolution that I'm adding until the road approximately lines up. So I'm holding it down. That looks pretty close to me. So that's 150 pixels. So I'm going to go ahead and click Create Resolutions. And once that's done, that will be applied across all monitors. So what that means is that my configuration, which is now set up, uh, let's do 3D really quick, and then I'll show you exactly what that means as far as resolutions are concerned. Actually, I'll show you that right now. So we'll go to screen resolution. So we are running at 5760 by 1080 rather than the full resolution, which is 5910 by 1080. 5910 by 1080, hold on a minute. 1920, no, that doesn't make any sense. No, 5910 by 1080 is probably the uh, the offset one. Oh, now I've gone and confused myself. Adding extra pixels for the width of the bezels. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, so yeah, we've added a little bit of extra of extra width for the bezels to our resolution here. So you can see that if I drag a window over here, 
it's actually going to block out words. So here, see if I drag this to the side, set up stereoscopic. The entire word stereoscopic can be blocked out by the bezel because of the way that I've altered the resolution. It's not really ideal for desktop use, but it does provide a little bit of a better experience for games, so you don't have kind of like the wing of your plane, like starting here and then like coming up over here or something weird like that, right?